All right, guys, KK4PYN back again with you. And uh, some strange things going on here. A, we're in my garage, which you've never seen. And B, it's been a long, long time since I made a video. Um, for some of you guys that follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen a couple of things I was up to lately. And um, admittedly, they've been not ham radio related, but some have. Um, I just got done with Orlando Hamcation and uh, picked up a couple of good products there that I've been waiting for, one of which was a good SDR radio. Um, one not based on an RTL dongle. So I picked up a SDR Play RSP1A, which is uh, 100 kilohertz to 2 gigahertz. And it performs fantastically. It's really probably the best SDR I've ever listened to. Of course, um, I've had a couple different versions of the little dongles and stuff like that. Some are better than others, but this thing's a whole different ball game. And the fact that it goes down into HF, fantastic. Anyway, you guys know enough about that. So why are we in my garage today, um, KK4PYN Fanatics, if there are any of you? Because I had to do something messy. So recently I purchased the Mini Whip, um, let's see if I get some more light on that, um, the Mini Whip antenna from um, Radioshop.nl, is it? AmateurRadioshop.nl. Um, and this is 10 kilohertz to 30 megahertz, so... HF bands. I listen to web SDRs with these antennas on them and they're fantastic. Uh, it also comes with a little uh, power injector of bias T, but I'm going to use the one that's built into the SDR play to um, to work this. So at any rate, I built this from a kit. It was, as you can see, it's really easy. There's not a heck of a lot to the board. A couple transistors, resistors, inductors, that's all there is to it. But this has to go outside and high in order to work. Most of the people online I've seen put it in PVC, and uh, that seems to work just fine. So I went down to the hardware store today with this in pocket, of course, and looked for some different type of enclosures. I was thinking about conduit traps and all sorts of BS, but at the end of the day, good old-fashioned PVC won out. Um, so one and a half inch PVC, um, this fits in there, but it's loose. And I wasn't really keen on that for whatever reason. And plus, I've got to bolt this or clamp it to my mast. So I need, you know, the thinner to me, the better anyway. Plus wind loading, blah, blah, blah. So I got one and a quarter because I noticed one and a quarter. When you try and put it in there, it, like, it's just a hair too big. So I came up with a solution to that, and that's what I want to share with you. And the solution was Dremel. Um, I thought to myself, I'm just going to notch this out and this will fit in there. So I used a Dremel. I don't know if you can see. Um, but I basically Dremeled some notches in, and you can see here where it's a little bit lighter, uh, into the PVC. So now... The mini whip well it did before darn it there we go slides right in so now it's in there snug as a bug and um, I made the pipe a little bit long so we've got room for uh, connecting the BNC connector here or I may just run coax straight out I'm also gonna run a ground to attach to my mast so um, now what we're going to do is cap the top. I got a cap for the bottom. We'll drill a hole in that for the cable. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you the finger there. And that'll be the antenna. Um, and this will get clamped to my mast with hose clamps right onto the metal mast. And then I will run a small ground extension, put it under here and make sure it hits the mast or ground it some other way but uh, the articles i'm reading grounding is really important so that's going to be the finished antenna and that's going to be up you know 20 feet in the air or whatever and that's all there is to it um so this worked out really good i just wanted to share it with you and one tip and trick that i have for you this is just a regular drill bit that i put here on the dremel um as you can see it is not long enough because that's the cutting edge uh, to get all the way through this piece of pipe. So you kind of got to, <clears throat> well, you're not going to be able to see that. You know, you, you, 
<coughs> excuse me, work it in there and then you got to flip it around and go from the other side. So the trick is getting that line straight. And then I followed it up with a straight file and just got into that groove and kind of worked it back and forth. So that was just my little tip and trick for the day. Um, I wanted to make this thing as small as possible. Um, it probably would have been a lot easier to go in two inch and maybe just, you know, wrap some foam around it or something like that. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do once I get this assembled is put one of those uh, desiccant bags in there. Um, the little silicone uh, moisture absorbers. That way, uh, as condensation and temperatures change down here in Florida, it'll keep that from getting any moisture in it. So I'm going to glue the top, which probably is the one that doesn't need to get glued. Um, or I'll glue the bottom because that's likely, you know, the water is going to run down here. But either way, I'm going to leave one end open so that I can take the antenna in and out. Um, I may just put a little, um, like a whip on there. Uh, not a whip, um, a liter uh, of RG58 or whatever, and then put the connector down on that. That way I can tape up the connector. I don't know. Either way, the bottom line is it fits in this piece of pipe. And um, another pro tip is, especially on something that you're going to disassemble, make sure you smooth the edges of this pipe with a file or some sandpaper, and that way it goes together easy and comes apart easy. Um, I know any of you guys that have worked with PVC, and get jammed in there pretty good so that's all there to it this is the mini whip um i'm gonna hook it up to my sdr play rsp 1a and uh you guys are gonna hear this on the air soon because as soon as i get this hooked up and working and getting a dedicated linux box um i'm gonna put the stream or the iq from this up on to either um, web sdr or open web rx or one of those uh, whichever one works out for the equipment that i have so Anyway, that's all for today. Um, I've actually got the whole weekend off and um, a little bit of free time, so I'm going to make a couple videos this weekend to kind of catch up. Uh, I've been working a lot. I do enjoy YouTube. Um, I like sharing with you guys what I'm kind of working on and stuff like that, and it's a great community. So I'm going to make a couple videos this weekend. Hopefully I can get everything together working right, and uh, you'll hear from me soon. So in the meantime... Keep an eye out for this little guy, and um, I'll share the link on Twitter whenever I get this up and running on the air. And I'll probably make a video of it receiving just so you guys can see how it works. But at any rate, that's all for uh, this video, and you guys have a great day and 73.